Welcome to Aero News Channel. Like and subscribe to update news around the world. After our great nation has spent decades having an open door policy for whoever just wanted to come here, it is now being reported that Immigration and Customs Enforcement (ICE) have just carried out one of the largest localized sweeps of workplaces since President Trump took office a little over a year ago. Say what you will about President Trump. He may be brash and he may take people to task on Twitter when he sees fit, but the man is doing absolutely everything we elected him to do. This week federal immigration officials raided a stunning 77 businesses throughout the sanctuary that is Northern California. The raids consisted in requesting proof workers were legally allowed to be in the United States or they would be arrested and deported. Bias Gate Federal immigration agents raided 77 businesses in Northern California this week, demanding proof that their employees are legally allowed to work in the United States, officials said Thursday. It was believed to be the largest such localized sweep of workplaces by the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency since President Trump took office. ICE agents swept into nearly 107 11 stores nationwide last month and arrested 21 suspected undocumented immigrants. Thomas Homan, the agency's acting director, has called for a 400% increase in such workplace operations. ICE did not identify any of the businesses its agents visited in the Bay Area and the Sacramento region Monday through Wednesday. The businesses were served notices of inspection and given three working days to comply, and no immediate arrests were made. Experts were struck by the scale of the operation. Serving 77 notices of inspection on different employers in the last three days within a single area of responsibility, in this case, San Francisco appears. Unprecedented, said Angelo Paperly, an immigration attorney in Los Angeles with the firm Safarth Shaw LLP. James Schwab, a spokesman for ICE, said the raids the reflected stepped-up efforts to enforce laws prohibiting businesses from hiring undocumented workers. The operation is part of a strategy, he said, focused on protecting jobs for U.S. citizens and others who are lawfully employed, eliminating unfair competitive advantages for companies that hire an illegal workforce and strengthening public safety and national security. Homan has repeatedly criticized California for state and local efforts to protect undocumented immigrants and limit law enforcement's ability to cooperate with immigration officials. In December, he told Fox News, We've got to take these sanctuary cities on. We've got to take them to court, and we've got to start charging some of these politicians with crimes. ICE has formulated plans for a broader operation in Northern California, intended to arrest large numbers of people considered deportable, but those have been placed on hold because of the sensitivity of congressional negotiations over immigration changes, said a source familiar with the matter. Pravi Pangulais Karam, a professor at Santa Clara University School of Law, said this week's raids appeared to be a retributive move by ICE to punish California and the Bay Area for their decision to not cooperate with other federal enforcement efforts. ICE inspections can lead to fines for businesses and criminal arrests of employers, in addition to immigration arrests of undocumented workers. During the last fiscal year, ICE served 1,360 such audits, making 139 criminal arrests and 172 immigration arrests. Businesses were ordered to pay nearly $100 million in forfeiture, fines and restitution. In raids such as the ones this week, ICE agents demand that employers produce what are known as I-9 forms for their employees, which show that workers produce valid identification such as a social security card to prove they are in the U.S. legally. Sometimes agents also ask for employees' proof of identity and work authorization. Employees whose documentation fails to prove they have a legal right to work must be fired, and the businesses must verify to ICE that they have discharged the workers, Paperly said. The investigations from this week's ICE raids remain ongoing, agency spokesman Schwab said. Any potential criminal charges or other penalties will be coordinated with the U.S. Department of Justice. State legislation signed by Governor Jerry Brown this year requires that employers notify their workers of such an audit and provide them with the results. The law also mandates that employers ask ICE to obtain a judicial warrant before granting agents access to a work site.
The spokesman for ICE James Schwab confirmed the raids were conducted in order to remind people the agency is committed to removing illegals and enforcing our federal laws which prohibit businesses from hiring employees who aren't allowed to legally work in the U.S. He also added the operation is part of a major strategy geared toward focusing on protecting jobs for U.S. citizens and residents, which will, in turn, eliminate unfair competitive advantages for companies that hire an illegal workforce. Not to mention that it's also a question of national security. While former President Barack Hussein Obama introduced our great nation to even more lax immigration policies than we had before, President Trump has given federal agents the full authority to do their job and keep our nation safe. What a difference a year can make! While the past four presidential administrations cared more about illegal aliens than law-abiding residents today we live in a nation where the American citizen and legal resident comes first. And that is the way it should be. Are you glad the USA isn't staying the third world dumping ground?